What's up, gaming world? Welcome to episode number 22 of the Thursday Night Indie Spotlight. I'm Ben. Here on behalf of Short Paws, it's the totally rad website that we run, www.shortpaws.com, at the Short Paws on Twitter. I'm Ben Boyce once again, at Piccolo930 on Twitter. That's my PSN handle as well, of course. Here with another episode of, uh, of the uh, Thursday Night Indie Spotlight. If you've never seen the show before, what we do is we grab a new uh, you know, indie smaller title that came out on the, on the PlayStation 4 during the week, fire it up for an hour or so, check it out, and see what it's all about. See if it might be something that uh, catches your eye that maybe you didn't have your, your eye on before. Um, we're uh, stretching the rules a, a little bit tonight. I mean, Tequila Works still a, an independent developer. Uh, this director's cut version published by Deep Silver, but uh, independently developed... It, uh, I think it fits the bill enough. Plus, I, I've really been looking forward to playing this game. Uh, I've always wanted to play Dead Light. I don't know a whole lot about it. It was on Xbox 360 a while ago, I believe. It was a summer of arcade title, if I'm not mistaken. But I always thought it had a really cool look to it. Excited that it's finally on, on PlayStation platforms, that so we can check it out. Um, follow Tequila Works on Twitter, at Tequila Works. It's, uh, it's an easy one. You can follow their publisher, at Deep Silver, on Twitter as well. And then... uh. Follow all, all the all the Deadlight stuff you can handle at Deadlight Game on Twitter as well. As far as what I know about this game, not a whole lot. I mean, we got a zombie apocalypse, got some side-scrolling action. Uh, I think there's something with light and shadows and, and some mechanic around that. But outside of that, don't know a whole lot. Well, this game had its fans when it came out. Um, I'm just looking forward to playing it. Let's hop into it and see what it's all about. The old Deadlight Director's Cut. If you're uh, if you're saying to yourself, "Man, I've heard that name Tequila Works before. Where where have I heard it?" You may have heard it in the news recently, as they were developing a game Rhyme for the PlayStation 4 for for the last several years. I mean, it's it's been I don't know, it must be going on three years now that Rhyme was in development, and um, unfortunately, for whatever reason, you know, PlayStation cut its ties with Tequila Works and Rhyme. So I know they're hoping to to do something with Rhyme down the line here. So um, you know, hopefully something can, can come of that for these guys. I know they're uh, they're a talented Spanish developer. So always thought Rhyme would look cool. Hopefully something they can they can fix in the future. Uh, get a quick run through the settings here. I like this I like this uh, music on the title screen here. Pretty neat. Nice little tune. Alright, so we've got some leaderboards. We've got Randall's Memories. I'm guessing that's the character we play as. Survival Mode, I believe, is new to the Director's Cut. Um, once again, never played the original one, so don't know what this adds to the game. But let's hop into the, to the regular, uh, regular thing here and see what this is all about. place in Seattle in the uh, 80s in a cool setting 4th of July 145 days after patient zero It's the only place they could have gone. 
Stay strong, Randy, and good luck. I know we'll find them. That day was not the beginning of anything or the end of something. It was just one more day. A day like any other. The world was dying. Just another day in the uh, zombie apocalypse here. I'm gonna fiddle with the game audio here a little bit. Right, welcome to Seattle. Alright, so hopefully that sounds okay. So, a cool, uh, like dark comic book Walking Dead style cutscenes there. I can dig those. Alright, let's see what this is all about here. Uh, press square to interact with interactive objects. A curl of sweet red gold hair in my last memory of Carla. Oh, huh. suitably dark there. Collectibles can be accessed from Randall's memory. Press X to jump. Go grab ledges while jumping. Kicking down doors, I like it. Oh, gosh. there's an enemy there. Okay. That's when that little gear pops up on the screen. That's our little interactive thing. Okay. Got it, Randall. There's something in there. Okay. Oh, something coming up behind me here. I'm not sure what combat options I have, so let me just get running here. Seattle Safe Point must be the last stronghold in all the Pacific Northwest. Anybody alive must be trying to reach it. sure what this radio is doing here. Uh, doesn't look to be doing anything. Diary page found. Pages 59 through 60 of 60. Jeez. So we're going to be uh, collecting this diary. We have pages 57 through 58 as well. Okay. So I guess there's quite a few pages that are filled in in here. Okay. I'll have to go back and read these. These uh, seem like they're they're written well enough. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I I tried to jump there. That did didn't work. Okay. Man, I'm just popping trophies left and right here as I screw up. All right. Maybe I can find something heavy enough inside the warehouse. Oh man, am I dead already? Jeez. Okay. It's an auspicious start for me there. Okay. So I'm not sure. Oh, I can whistle. Not sure what combat options I have here. Hopefully I can find a, a weapon at some point. Let's see if I can actually make this jump this time. Get a time jump a little bit beforehand, looks like. Hold square to grab heavy objects. Okay, let's do this then.
Okay. All right, what are we doing here? Oh, jeez. Still coming down here. <laughs> sure, am I supposed to do something with this here? Oh, looks like maybe up there there's a window. Okay. Let's go back the other way. Yeah, art style is cool. Um, I think you can see a little bit that this is a little bit of an older game, but still a cool looking game nonetheless. Um, frame rate is not the best right now. To see if that improves as we go along. Use the environment against your enemies. Press the green button and release the charge on the shadow. What the hell does that mean? Okay. That's what that means. I'm getting a, uh, like a zombified shadow complex vibe right now. Obviously, with with less less offense, more puzzle solving. Um, well, there goes that. Hopefully, I didn't need anything else from over there. Well, R one while running to sprint. Ooh. Jeez, okay. Got it? Alright, what are we going here? Made it out. Hey, it Ben's in this game. This world. What's going on in the background there? Somebody's hightailing it. Press triangle to taunt enemies. <laughs> so I can draw them to me and they'll just jump in the uh, electricity here. Sorry, zombie dudes. Eh. But if you want a few easy trophies, <laughs> just, just fire this game up. You've already grabbed four of them in the first five minutes here. I'm not sure what I just did. I guess I gotta maybe jump. Jump over the fence here. Sprint against weakened doors to tackle them. Find these ones. I'm like, I'm fine. I don't need this. Okay. <laughs> Another trophy. <laughs> I love the uh, just dramatic door entrances in this game. You can either kick the door down or just do some running sprint tackle for no reason. Status updated. Ben, Stella, and Sam managed to escape in the van that brought us to Seattle. I'm just what was going on in the background there. Looks like I'll have to travel on my own to the safe point. This maintenance tunnel should take me to the highway. That will guide me into the city. Alright. Sure. There's R1 on a ladder slide down faster. Oh. Okay, I got you. The inferno begins here. Hell is other people. Hell's, Hell's other people. If you wish another to keep your secret, first keep it yourself. 
Oh, that all sounds lovely. Threw me the way into the suffering city, threw me the way to the eternal pain, threw me the way that runs among the lost. Hmm. Dead people, corpses. They don't impress me anymore. <laughs> well, all right, Randall. Randall cannot swim. Avoid deep waters. I guess we'll get rid of these waters here. Why the hell can't you swim, Randall? Haven't you ever been in the zombie apocalypse or seen one of these things before? You gotta know how to swim, man. People are always swimming during the zombie apocalypse. It's a prerequisite. Trudge our way through the water here. Well, oh, zombies down here. They're quite a bit quicker than me. Get up there, Randall. Interstate 5. Okay, so Randall kind of gives us these diary updates. Oh no. How am I gonna... Can I jump? Oh, okay. Okay. Huh? Title? This is it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Left of our world now. These are the leftovers of the war between men and shadows. A snapshot of what we become. Bloody hell on earth. Uh, I think this is this is definitely targeting 30 frames, if I had to guess. I'm not the uh, I'm not a frame rate guru, but it's it's not not the smoothest game right now. What did that say? Turn around on fences or windows. Oh, jeez. Uh. <laughs> I don't know what to do other than run and tackle these things. I'm I'm not sure what did I did I get him? Oh, he's still there. Trying to figure out what this thing is right here. It's a first aid kit. Okay. Alright, well. Let's move on from that. Or not. Maybe I have to go this way. 
feel like there's something better I should be doing other than... Oh, no. No, jump. Get out of here. Okay, so maybe we trapped him down there now. Status updates. I'm struggling to survive encounters with these shadows. I'm lucky to be alive. Shadows, I'm guessing those names of the zombies? But deep inside of me, I feel dread. Where are my girls? My wife, Shannon, my daughter, Lydia. Will I ever see them again? I've got to find my friends and my girls. I've got to. Huh. Looks like there's some stats on there. And... The uh, interactive things are a little bit finicky here. Ooh, but I have an axe now. Thanks, buddy. Struggle to swing the axe. Nice. There we go. Now we're gonna do some damage. Circle to finish fallen enemies. There we go. Huh? Oh, surprise, another trophy. And another one. <laughs> Man. Look, if you want if you want some quick trophies, just fire up Deadlay here. I don't know if this game's got a platinum or how many this game must have a bunch of trophies if I've, I've already earned a ton of them. Where am I? Oh, I'm up here. I don't know why the screen is doing this. Is, is that part of the game? Kind of a strange effect. Oh. Nope. I'm running out of stamina. Oh, that's what's going on. you go down jeez finish off this one well, all right. jeez all right so the, the stamina effect very weird Could have did that the whole time. Oh, here comes another dude. Uh, all right, let's see if we can avoid these guys. First circle to break the planks. Break what planks? Oh, on the wall, on the window here. Not the, uh, not the biggest fan of the, uh, stamina thing there. It's, it's kind of a jarring way to say that you're running low on stamina. Shake the whole damn screen. I don't know, Brenda. At times it looks like you may be trying to hit 60. Sometimes not. Definitely got some cool world building stuff in this game. The diaries, the uh, the narration from the main character, the little status updates as you go through each area. Those are all nice touches. Oh, here comes some, here comes some buddies here. Oh. There they go. <laughs> I 
Definitely not smart zombies in this game. Money has no value anymore in this society. I'm guessing I need to maybe jump over that fence from up here. Oh. Another trophy. <laughs> nope, other side. Nope, other side. Jeez. Shit, there's too many of them. Oh no. Run, Randall, run! Jump! Damn stupid shadows. Alright, we made it. Good job, Randall. up now. I'm a fan of the dark comic book uh, style cutscenes. Very cool. Another, uh, another status update from Randall here. There's things down in the in the bottom here. Where I see Scene stats, looks like five minutes, and then zero of two. So I don't know if I just missed the secrets, or... I thought I investigated certain things, but... I'm not sure what that's referring to. Hmm. We're the only normal survivors left. The group of men calling themselves the New Law seem to be taking over the city. They seem more dangerous than the dead. I need to hurry up and find my friends and family. They mean keeping an eye on the survivors. Orders from who? Yeah, so they've they've created a, a cool world here, I think, in Dead Light. I mean, obviously, it's very dark, very Walking Dead, Walking Dead esque. this guy now. The new law. They mark their kills. That's some kind of message. As if this world isn't already dark enough. You really gotta watch your stamina in combat here. It drops quickly. I only have one health bar as well. And there it goes. Oh. Oh. You can only kill these things with a finishing blow too. Which you gotta get them on the ground for. Ugh. Yeah. Alright, 
Let's see if we can finish these guys off now. Woo. This combat, very visceral, very brutal. You can feel the weight of the axe as you swing it. You feel like it's really tough to beat these shadows. See if there's anything down here. Got some enemies on the other side of this fence here. Uh oh. I'm just gonna have to take him on. Another trophy. Don't lose your head. That's a silver one. Jeez. Seattle isn't a safe place. Everyone I care about is in danger. Bad, not not easy in this game. You respawn with only one bar of health, which maybe if I get these guys over here, I can just jump over them and get out of here. It's probably the better option. Instead of trying to go, uh, take out four of them at the same time with my little old axe here. Looks like something I... Can I crouch here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, combat definitely a, a last resort at this point. better to try to figure out how to use your environment to your advantage whether that's you know dropping a car on one of these guys or or something like that um let's see if I can get these guys over here and make a run for it alright what is in here now Nothing. The news was right. Something big happened in the city. People went to war against the shadows, military and common man alike. It didn't end well. Reach that. Hmm. What did I activate there? Probably should have waited to drop that. I want to. Oh, oh. Okay. The ground's electrified now. Okay.
There we go. Okay. Now we're doing something with this. Ah, it's going to let us get up there. I get it. Making some moves. Whoa. Didn't I just drop the finishing blow on you? Jeez. Zombies are relentless here. Fall down. Stay down. Let's see if we can take the high road here. Again, zero of three, zero of one. Hmm. Not sure where where the collectible stuff is in this game. I haven't seemed to come across it yet. Oh, all right. What does this say now? From a wall rebound. Okay. And good old good old wall jump in this game too. Paper with a handwritten map to the safe point marks some Seattle streets and the location of the safe point, but it's nearly incomprehensible. Well, what good is that going to do, Randall? L2. Oh, so there's a little there's a little combat roll to mitigate damage. Although that didn't work very well for me. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> okay. Not supposed to go down there. Guessing I need to jump across. Someone 
Every page found. Alright. Looks like we're gonna have to use these construction claws here. find a way to get up here, so. Ooh, I've got a revolver now. And another trophy. Flashback. Since when did you ever have a problem with excess? I need to learn how to shoot this thing. Dude. I'm sure I'll need it. Spider-Man's uncle is this in this game? Like rifle you carry in the mountains. First you need to load it. The key resides in being quick. Like those guys in the casinos with cards. Quick fingers. Soft hands. Right, this makes perfect. L1 to reload. You have to show me your aim. Try to shoot that can over there. That'll be easy. Kid, I like your style. So let's think of something harder now. Hey, you see that crow? Pluck it before it flies off. All right, let's see here. We gotta reload first. Oh. I think it's time to do something about this Jeez. bastard. It's cruel to leave him tied up like that. Let's put him out of his misery. Take the shot, Randy. Let's do right by the poor soul. Shoot the shadow. There's no glory in killing the dead a second time. This is just what it means to survive now. Make sure you always aim for the head, Randy. Always in the head. It's another thing that video games have always taught us. Always shoot zombies in the head. Got it, Ben Parker. Alright, so I have a revolver now. And aiming and shooting is something like in a twin stick game. So you aim it with the right stick. And then just pull the trigger. So we will shoot the padlock here. Should really check this out too. Ooh, bullets. Alright, now did I not just shoot this thing? There we go. I'm guessing the revolver will be much more potent than the axe. Maybe combat will be more of an option. Uh oh. That's Parker's motor home. Yeah. Interesting little tidbit here, the uh, light bar on the DualShock flashes as your stamina gets low. As if the flashing screen wasn't indication enough. Alright. Just taking target here, getting more trophies. Jeez.
got him. Okay, where am I going here? Still zero four. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, didn't didn't reload. I so I can just axe this dude. Why not, right? First aid kit, we'll take it. That fire is blocking my path. The smell is horrible. If I could find a way to put it out. I'm on it, Randall. was a boss move dude anybody who just man tackles a water tower off of a building to put out a fire that's just doesn't get much better than that all right we got company down here Let's see if maybe I can take aim on him keep forgetting Every bullet you gotta reload here. You know, it looks like I have six chambers there. Not sure I can't load six bullets at a time, but gun with me now. Feel so much more safe. Yeah, the the one or you know what? I wonder if I just keep uh yeah. If I keep hitting reload, he'll he'll load the whole gun, all all the chambers. Silly me. Although you would think though, in every other game, when you hit reload once, it would you know reload the gun, not just one bullet at a time.
bullets. Be needing those. It seems that those planks block up the way to the rooftop. I think that those shadows might be of help to me. Come on. See if we can get enough of these guys out here to collapse that down. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't uh I don't know about the realism angle here. Alright, what am I doing here now? cleared an area down here oops okay I'll kill you freaks well isn't that pleasant Among other things, that he decided to blow up the building's boiler to kill all his infected neighbors. Hmm. You know, there's little stuff like that. Damn it! The the run button is is a little tricky in this game. You gotta you gotta hit it before you get to the edge. But it's little things like those notes that build on the world of Deadlight and kind of create this just it's just terrible place. Obviously, that Randall's in here. We made it. Good catch, Randall. We got some electrified ground there. Oh, I hear a helicopter. Not sure if that's a good thing or not. That's the helicopter chasing my friends. Yeah, sounds like not. Right, how do I get through here now? Did I miss a box to turn that off somewhere? Let's see here. Uh, no, not that way. <laughs> I believe that's the second or third time I've I've leapt off a building if you're if you're keeping track of that stuff. supposed to do here kind of strange little scenes every time you die Nothing with the gun here, it appears. Oh, like a wall jump.
maybe if I can get him to do it again. Yeah, you, I had to do that in one of the other areas over there. The the wall jump is a little a little strange in this game. Stuff like this reminds me of the uh, the Mirror's Edge game on on iOS. If anybody's ever played it, it's actually a really cool game. Scavenge for some bullets. I like it. First aid kit. I'll take it. Lovely. Oh. Thought I could jump over there. Guess I'm gonna have to go down there and mess with that generator. L2 are uh, running to roll. Kids to block doors and reach higher places. Okay. That sounds like a clock. What the hell is happening out there? Oh, jeez. That's gunfire. Charlie Delta Oscar, requesting survivor trans down. Didn't load the chamber. Oh. Dude, I totally hit that guy in the head. Come on, Randall. Get the hell with it. If I can't load this gun, I'm gonna just hack you to pieces. Helicopter sounds close. That's Ben's motor. There's blood all over the driver's seat. My friend's been ambushed. Damn it, Randall. Alright, let's take aim on some of these guys. Load it, Randall. Oh. oh, no. Damn. I didn't know I was blocked by this telephone pole. Huh. How do I get out of that spot, then? That telephone pole's blocked me before. Guess not. Come on, Randall. Hey, be careful when you put those bullets. Let me die. 
I hit peace. Sam? Is that you? Wayne? Come. Come in. Fast. What the hell happened? Everything is my fault. Sorry, Wayne. Oh, God. I'm sorry. It's okay. It wasn't a good idea coming here. They've gone crazy. Those men appeared out of nowhere and attacked us. Good God, they've shot me. I'm bleeding to death, Wayne. The whole world is dying. Where have they taken them? I'm dying, Wayne. <laughs> you were going to die anyway. No. No. I don't want to die. I... No. I have to save my comrades. Where have they taken them? Wayne. The safe point. They're all there. The women. Where have they taken them, Sam? So, Tell me now. You've got to... Women, children, my family. Carla's dead. And now you are too. I've got to get to that safe point. Hmm. We lost Sam now. We're stuck in Lou's pawn shop here. Status. Still nothing. <laughs> okay. All right. So that that gives you a good idea of uh of Deadlight Director's Cut. I think that's a good place to cut it off there. We've um st still in search of our uh, of our family here. As we get as we get to the end here, <laughs> Randall's voice work guess is is a little uh little over the top there. Um, little over the top with the uh with the grizzly. The grizzly uh you know, anti-hero shtick that uh, a lot of these games have. But, uh, but that's going to do it for the stream tonight. That's, um, <laughs> hey, Emmanuel, yeah, we just, uh, we just finished up the stream for the, for the night, but, uh, it's, um, it's going to be archived on the, uh, on YouTube here, so, uh, feel free to go back and check it out. Um, but, uh, Actually, yeah, I had fun playing Deadlight. Uh, it's my first time playing the game. Never played it on the 360. We just played it for about an hour or so. Um, if you're a fan of uh, you know puzzle-based platforming, I mean the, the the puzzles aren't difficult. It's basically I don't know how to describe it. It may be more of like a Prince of Persia type of thing where you're trying to just traverse the environment, get from point A to point B. Um, there's some some interesting mechanics with the combat. I think the gunplay feels good. The uh, um, the way they, the way they do it with the, with the stamina and the way the axe feels and the weight behind it, I, I like, I like some of the elements in this game. It's, it's something I would like to play more of. Um, the, the screen shaking is a little bit weird, but, uh, you know, I had, I had fun with the game nonetheless. Um, definitely interested to check it out more. I'd, I, I haven't played enough to render a final verdict one way or another. The, the comic book cutscenes are, are cool as well. Um, but, uh. Check me out on PSN and Twitter at Piccolo930. Follow at the short pause on Twitter. www.shortpause.com is our website. Uh, follow us at the short pause. We're back every Thursday night, 10 p.m. Eastern. Play a new indie game for an hour or so on the Thursday night indie spotlight. Uh, next week, not sure what's coming out, but we'll be back with a with a fresh joint to uh, to check out and play. Uh, I'm Ben. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. <laughs>